In 2 Kings chapter 5, we read the account of a man named Naaman. Now, Naaman was the commander of the army of Syria, not exactly a nation that was friendly to God's people in Israel. Naaman had a problem. He had leprosy, a horrible skin disease that isolated him from others. One day he was told that there was a prophet in Israel who could heal him. So he packed up a ton of gifts to go see this prophet, thinking he could buy his healing. So we jump further into the story. We finally find Naaman coming to the prophet Elisha. Now, Elisha doesn't even leave his house when Naaman arrives, but he simply sends word through a messenger that Naaman is to go and to wash in the water of the Jordan seven times, and he would be healed. Naaman got mad at this. He was infuriated that Elisha, the prophet, would not even come out of his house to see him, an important commander in the army. But yet one of the biggest reasons was he expected Elisha to come out and wave his hands all over the place. Naaman wanted a big show that something amazing was happening. And all he got was word to go wash in the water. Now, I'm sure you've seen a baptism. The pastor places a small amount of water onto the head of the one being baptized. He says some very simple words. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Done. Not much of a show from an earthly perspective. The reality is far more amazing. Five seconds earlier, the unbaptized was an enemy of God, incapable of faith, bound for hell itself. Now, by the power of God's word included with the water, the baptized is a beloved child of God with whom he is well pleased on account of Christ. The baptized has had his sins forgiven, has been rescued from death itself and from the devil, and has been given the gift of eternal life. In your baptism, amazing thing happens, even though no human eye will see this fantastic show. God rescued you from sin and death, and the devil. He's made you his beloved child. He has joined you to Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, giving you life that's never going to end and starts now. You've been washed. You've been made clean. It's a gift of God for you.